In this tutorial, you will see how to use core data to store elements locally. Define the core data model. Read the core data stored elements. Display the data in a table view controller. Let's create a new iOS single view application. Be sure to set the use core data option to on. We will define now our core data entity. This is a mandatory step in order to define the structure and properties. In this example, we will create a simple data structure, defined by the inserted time and a title. Open the data model. Press on Add Entity. Write the name of your entity. Add the attribute called, Title, by defining string as a type. Add the attribute called time by defining double as a type. We will now define our basic view layout. This is defined by the navigation bar, the bar button item, and the table view. Open the main storyboard. Embed the view controller in the navigation controller. Add the bar button item add the table view set the top right bottom left constraint to zero Add the table view cell inside the table view, and set the identifier to cell. Now we have to link the views to variables. Open the assistant editor and link the table to a variable, and the bar button to an action. When you want to do something with core data, you have to get your persistent container. To store a new element, you have to localize your entity, create a new NS managed object, define its attributes values, and store it. To read your core data elements, you will have to do a fetch request. Set the table data source and delegate. Define the function that will refresh the core data elements, and reload the table data. Define the function to store a new core data element. As soon as a new element is added, you can refresh again your local data. Let's display the data title in the table view cell. Here it is the final result. If you enjoyed this tutorial, share it. To continue to be updated on new Swift tutorial, subscribe to this channel.